Welcome viewers across the world, more especially beer friends that are watching from all over the world. Wherever you are watching us from, I appreciate you for joining this platform. Please like and share this video to family and friends. Share it to everyone that is close to you. You never can tell who is going to hear us. This video is very, very important. I am going to share a very important information on this video. In this video, Mazin Nandekano, the Supreme Leader of IPOB, exposed the man called Dangote. Some of you do not know very well about Dangote. I want you to watch this video carefully and closely. You will understand the man called Dangote, who they tag the richest man in Africa. You will understand how he became rich and you understand the secret behind the man called Angote. This is a man that is holding the contraption called Nigeria captive today, even when they pretend it is not true. What you are going to hear in this video is one of the things that will make you believe that Nigeria is irredeemable. When we talk about the criminality in Nigeria that is foundational, that the problem of Nigeria is foundational, this is the point. Listen carefully from the beginning to the end. You will understand. I want you to watch closely. After then, go to the comment section and leave your comments. Let's watch. I despise Dangote. He is not the richest man in Africa. And I will tell you why. Because he's in a monopoly. In America, he will be in jail. I keep saying this. Every broadcaster come and I tell you. All of you, we are there. Let me tell you what the Fulanese have in store for you. Go into ordinary business. In every sphere of the economy, the Fulani dominate. This, their stranglehold is total. They own over 90% of the oil wells. The reason why they own these oil wells is because people from the coastal region of Biafra land forgot who they are to allow the enemy to come in. That is why Ogoni land is polluted and can never be cleaned. That is why every year resource control, resource control with nothing happening because of the efficiency of divide and rule that they applied. Of course, the British applied. Let me tell you what they have done. Cement. Everybody must buy cement to build a house because of the way the white man taught us to build houses. Whereas before, we used to use clay to build our houses to maintain the temperature inside at 26 or 27 degrees centigrade. And all of a sudden, it's all breeze block. That is a, a conductor of heat. Let's put that to one side for you to build a house. Let me tell you how clever the Fulanese are with their British advisors. Everybody needs shelter at some point. If you're successful in life, you're, going, you're bound to build a house. Even if you don't build, you're bound to rent a house. You're not going to sleep outside. The landlord that built the house or the owner of the house must have built it with the cement. You see how clever they are. The Fulanese thought to themselves, let us control the cement industry. How are they going to control it? By killing off and closing every other cement producer in the country. So that only one man, he's not going to produce the cement, he's going to import the powder and bag it somewhere in Lagos. That's how you have Dangote cement. Over the years. Some of you may have forgotten, but my uncles used to work at Niger Cement Factory at Nkalago, built by Dr. Michael Oba. Niger Sem is called on Kalago cement. Some of you have forgotten, but I'm sure if you're as old as I am, you remember BCC Lions of Bogo. Have you forgotten Lion Cement from Benue? BCC means Benue Cement Company. They used to have cement in Benue State. There was Elephant Cement, Ego Cement, Ashaka Cement, Boham Cement, even Ibedo had his own cement. Now, let me, you people complain, they don't have any jobs, they are mistress, they have no jobs. But you people, the same Fulani that you people idiotically voted for, or claim you voted for, are the people that shut down all these factories. They want Fulani to control you. They gave the monopoly, the license to import cement to one single Fulani man. Thank God. That was why they put Ipeto in prison. EFCC called him and imprisoned him to stop him from selling cement. Only one full and only one, mind you, they control of the oil. Only one full and man. Some of you are so stupid in Nigeria. I don't know the type of God that made some of you, but I will educate and I will enlighten you. If you listen to us without bias, believe you me, your life can never be the same again. Your brain will open. Let me give you an example of what is happening soon. Before now, 
there was nothing and I play or passenger is very stupid. I'm telling you, or passenger is an idiot. Oh, Bassanjo was the man that robber stamped some of these things. I'm telling you right now, this evening. Not only do Fulanis control the oil well, there were a lot of people, thousands of people working in the refineries. Let me tell you what they did next. They went into the refineries and they shut every refinery down. They went and built a refinery under Abacha in Equatorial Guinea. They went into a consortium with the British and built a refinery in Exeter, in England. Now, this crude oil that previously would have been refined in One, in Iguacha, Potakot refinery, in Wari, or to an extent, Kaduna, now we ship them abroad and made every worker in that place useless, rendered them unemployed. Money wasn't coming in. I want people to understand when Lai Muhammad was saying, what holds us together is more than what you know, all that rubbish, nonsense. I want to tell you how Fulani took over your lives before your eyes, Goro Goro, as you're watching, talking about Nigeria, our flag, our team, uh, Super Eagles, Green Eagles, Eaglet, talking about the Fulani, we are stealing your lives away from you before your own eyes. Fulani was not content in owning the oil wells. They shut down the refineries where our parents were working, where you could study petroleum engineering, graduate and find a job to feed your family. That sector was shut down. Remember, they shut down the cement sector. The very critical, every day there's construction going on, isn't it? It's a very critical sector of the economy. Building raw, raw materials, of course. Fulani, Dan got the one man. Now let me tell you what they did very cleverly. They came to the petrol. Not owning the oil well is not enough. Oh. <laughs> to tell you how much they hate you, they call you a Nigerian. Let's unite, but they despise you. I'm gonna ask you, they hate you. If not, why would they shut down all the cement factories and allow one man to import? And this say produce import. You will have limestone in Calab right now in your boy state rotting away. Shut down. BCC in Niboko, shut down. Maybe the Dakota have taken it to the bag, not to produce, not to manufacture cement, but to import cement powder and repack it. That's all that they do. And they claim they love you. They claim they want to see Nigeria progress. I am I am I am doing this program this evening to let the whole world understand that there is no basis for unity in Nigeria. Because the whole thing is based on evil and wickedness. Why? Because full and people are not hard-working people. They can't wake up by 5 or 4 in the morning to go to work. I challenge anybody. All those factories that you see in Lagos, in all those industrial bands, I challenge anybody anywhere in the world to tell me if a change of can wake up by 4 in the morning to go to work in a factory. I challenge, it's a challenge to everybody. Show me why. Now, listen. They took over cement, which is very critical. They took over oil itself. The only way that people, private individuals, share oil wells amongst themselves. That is not enough. Instead of moving that oil to the refinery to be refined, where we can find jobs to make kerosene available easily, to make um, uh, fuel available to run out. No, 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 not, not at all. To tell you how evil they are. Those claiming and shouting one nature to tell you how satanic they are. They moved all those jobs abroad by shutting down all the refineries that you have in your zoo country. And who is the judge of NPC? Fulani, in the Kiari family. Understand? Now, you see what they did? They now moved crude oil abroad to the refineries that they built with stolen money from the public coffers. It's not, it doesn't end there. Denying you jobs is not, it's not the end, it's not even their problem. Now, to bring that refined petrol back into Nigeria. <laughs> you will not pay subsidy again to bring back into the country what left the country for free. <laughs> hey, Only if black people can be seen. They took away cement sector, very critical in the building of an economy in the world. 
they took away oil which is the only thing that you have so to speak they export it they, they export it and they make money they bring it back and you pay tax for it yet no the families are working that is how you have fuel subsidy the meaning of fuel subsidy is that your refineries are not working not that they will not work if you turn them on but because full and shut it down yet they will control your lives two sectors we must all eat isn't it everyone must feed every day you have to eat something there is no food you cook in our land without salt in it no no no, no. you must add salt now it's, it's normal you cannot have tea in the morning without sugar dangote ordinary indomie dangote there was a girlfriend i met in netherlands he wanted to bring indomie into the zoo i think he he brought sample they arrested him at the airport and put him in jail for trying to disrupt Dangote's stranglehold on the, should I say, the ready meal industry, pasta and all this other rubbish that people eat. Only them. Only them. You cannot feed without contributing to full any domination of your life. In religion, those of you who are Muslims, full any is number one. Politics, they are number one. Army, they are number one. The police, they are number one. Everywhere, they are number one. Anytime you talk, unity, unity, unity. They hit you, they kill you, they arrest you, they shoot you. Anything, they have unity. Because they know what they're benefiting. The final game is to hand over our land and our forests to their brothers and sisters from the Sahel. And it's happening before our eyes. One shut down. Refinery. That could have employed millions of people. watch her down worry down even kaduna who built kaduna the foundation of basanjo they asked me said he's he's diversifying the location of major industries he was he wanted to please the full name masters that put him in power they built kaduna refinery you have to move oil all the way from the south to the north they can pipe oil to the north oh, and everywhere else oh, but they cannot pipe clean water to your homes they cannot pipe gas to your homes and they claim they tell you we protect one nigeria we are all nigerians we are going to make progress progress how for how many years how can you make progress by shutting down industries that employ people rendering them unemployed and importing into the country finished items and products that you could have produced in your country are you listening to me in one of your previous papers you said that you need about 100 men the type of men we need are those who are pure at heart, loving the Afra with all their being, willing to sacrifice anything sacrificeable for the restoration and the sustenance of Biafra. People who will gladly do anything, I say anything, to ensure that Biafra is restored. And I have a shocking news for you. In all the years that we have been agitating for the freedom of our people, I have not found up to 15 people who are the way we are, who are willing to sacrifice everything sacrificeable to make sure that Jeffrey is restored without enmity, without rancor, without greed, without jealousy, without any personal interest. We have been fighting for years. I'm telling you in all my life, I have not come across up to 15 people that will do anything for them. Are you here? Up to 15. And not to the cap, yeah, said, until there are a hundred of you, nothing will happen. I need minimum 100 of you that can dedicate and give anything for Biafra, and then you see Biafra coming. But we are pushing for that and praying for that. And this year, we are going to make very serious results that I can assure you. So now, having heard that thing from our leader, you just my fellow Biafra friends, after watching this clip, I want you to be the judge for yourself. Go to the comment section and write on the comment section, tell me what you feel about this 
interview that was granted. I thank God for the Prime Minister Mazi Samuel, the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of Biafra. Biafra people are going to defend themselves. If it's going to take everyone out to defend Biafra, we will do that till the last man standing. May Chukwu Kukadia my country to guide our Prime Minister Mazi Samuel. May Chukwu Kukadia my country to guide our Liberation Army. Biafra government, peace, progress, unity, and equity. We move. Airborne. Thank you, as they say.